It's an old, old building, more than a wooden shed. In 1812 we gathered there, that's what the historian said. Will they succeed in rebuilding our markets to serve us like before? Or drop the ball and waste our time and make us wait some more? Whatever. I'm not gonna bother trying to call him. This is really the only city, aside from New York, that has multiple public markets. New York has a couple, and we have six. And I don't know, I haven't visited another city in all of the 50 states that we've been to that has more than one public market. Uh, they, it, it's difficult to do it. Most of the markets that I've been to have a story of revitalization, of, of, of being up and declining, and then revitalize. It's a, it's a recurring theme with public markets. The markets are actually pretty important. So there was an outreach meeting by an architect to Fells Point regarding the RFP. Part of the challenge is that the North Shed has been unoccupied um, for quite a long time. And when you have a big building that's unoccupied, that nothing is happening, it's not good for the neighborhood. The RFP was released by the city and the Baltimore Development Corporation about three weeks ago, I guess now. The city is really looking to privatize some of the markets. Markets are difficult things to operate. They are management intensive. The RFP essentially was configured to give a, enough room to a developer to create something different and unique to reactivate the North Market space. The respondent came out with a plan that seemed to, to raise a lot of hackles. But the other part of it was that it didn't capture the value of the asset and return any value to the city. We were, we were looking for something that would activate the space now and keep the character of the public market somewhere in there, um, even if it's just the building. And the, the, the plan that was submitted didn't really do much for that. And it was decided perhaps the, the city and the market corporation just should take this on, get a fee developer to assist us, get an architect, go through the, those kinds of plans. So that's what we're in the midst of doing now. So CHAP are the people who oversee all the historic areas. So what are they going to do with the markets now? Uh, CHAP stands for the Commission for Historical and Architectural Preservation. We were created in 1964. I don't think that we have really weighed in on major changes to the Broadway markets. We look at historic preservation design review from some very narrow lenses, so to speak. Um, and, you know, so we're looking at the changes to the physical fabric. The South Pavilion is, is relatively new and I don't know if we would be considered historic so we could see significant changes there. And the North Market as the second story was taken off, the creation of the front on the north and sort of the bricking in as some of those uh, arched openings. So a lot of changes have occurred. So historic preservationists would ask the question, does the market still retain its historic integrity? Uh, any of the exterior changes would be reviewed and approved by our office and um, when it comes to the point, uh, you know, uh, plans come to fruition, they will be submitted and reviewed at a public hearing at, at CHAP. And we're, we're excited to work with folks here. Um, I think everybody has the same goal of really creating uh, a vibrant, dynamic uh, market uh, of, of some kind there to really attract uh, um, uh, and serve the community. These markets should be alive and well. And so that's, that's, the, that's the goal, is to make them alive and well, and not a detraction, but, a, but an addition to the vibrancy and the life of this area. Looks like we've got a lot of people who care about keeping these markets alive. Even the city wants to help. But if that's true, how come nothing happens?